it's Linda and Michelle. We have another movie review for you. But before we get into it or even talk about the movie, let's talk about subscribing to our channel. You know, I've had friends tell me that they don't subscribe because they think it's they're going to get spammed or they're going to get charged or something leery is going to go wrong on the internet. No, no, no. Subscribing just means that you are could, if you click the bell notification, could get notifications when we upload a video. But you don't even necessarily have to click the bell. Just subscribe. That means that you kind of want to watch our videos and you like us and we need all the yeah, like we yeah. can get, you yeah, know? It's occasionally. Yeah, <laughs> When yeah, you decide yeah. to go to a movie, you might yeah, want to check Yeah, you might want to check and see what we think. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're 18, 20, 30, you might have a completely different opinion about movies than we do. But if you're an older person, you might agree with us on some of it. Please let mm -hmm. us know. But yeah, anyway, right. subscribe, like, leave us a comment. Tell us how irritating we can be or whatever you want. Um, but anyway, the movie we just saw just now was called Sweetwater. Yeah. What would you think, was, Michelle? And it was a good... I loved the movie, actually. It was a very good movie. It was um, um, based, I guess... I don't know if this one was based kind of loosely, I guess they said, around... Inspired by in, the events. In, okay, inspired by the events that happened. And it starts off in 1940. 49 and um it's with the globin globin um the harlem globe harlem trotters. globe trotters and the team and it, it goes moves on from there to the nba and at this point in time there is not um any kind of black any black pay, players on the nba they're not allowed and uh, there are people who want them to be. They really feel that because they the, need to be. The Harlem Globetrotters at that point were like beating the best teams in the world. Yeah, they, they, were, they had the they best were, players, yeah. but their players were all black. Yeah, so there was controversy as to whether to allow um, black basketball players to be on the NBA. So the kind of circled a little bit around that to a degree and mm -hmm. um I'll take it from there yeah and then there was sweetwater who was one of the players who mm -hmm. his real name was nathaniel clifton but that wasn't even true because as a child he was clifton nathaniel but his mom changed his name at the last moment yeah um and he went by sweetwater because he drank water with a little sugar in it that his mother had made him accustomed to way back when he was a little kid picking cotton and he had, um, she had sent him off to the big city with his dad to kind of become something. She right. had this vision that he had a purpose in life. Yeah. And it had to do with his hands, too. Yeah, the, the, the size of his hands, I think, were un. Because he kept looking at his hands. Yeah, a lot I also think it start. had to do a lot with the picking of the cotton yeah. and the things that he had done that had injured his hands at various times, too. Yeah, that could be, too. Yeah. yeah. But um, he, he was able to begin playing basketball um, in the bigger cities, wherever his city he was in. I don't think they ever told us. Um, yeah, they came from Chicago? Chicago. Yeah, they were all, they, all the uh, Globetrotters came from Chicago, yeah, yeah, but he used to herald them as coming from Harlem. Harlem. Yeah, yeah, from Harlem, yeah. Uh, but, um, anyway. but they were winning all the games that they were going to, and they were being paid such a little bit of money in comparison to what the NBA players were being yeah, paid at gosh. that point. Peanuts. Yeah. So a couple of guys from the Knickerbockers, the New York Knickerbockers, fought for him and eventually was able to get him over to the NBA. And then from there, I, we would ruin the story. I mean, yeah. you can get that synopsis by reading it online. But um, it, talk, it it takes you through what his experiences were like there and yeah. things. And it's, it's a really nice story. I think we began in the 19, was it 89? The story began. And then um, he was recalling, and it took us back to 1949. And then it ended in 1989. So we saw mm -hmm. what had happened, what became of him Yeah. Um, at the end of the story. Yeah, it, it's worth seeing. I mean, it, it's it's good. Yeah. So well, would you um, rate it? Uh, you know, it's so hard to rate things sometimes because I like it for so many reasons. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, 
I'm going to say seven and a half. Okay. I would give it a seven. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah, I would give it That's a seven. Where I'm going. It's 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 a good movie. It was it held my attention. It's a little slow moving at times, but it's good. Um, I think it's worth seeing it if you yeah. like that. You know, I I always like true stories. I yeah, only read true story I, books. This was something and, I never knew about at all ever. So it was interesting to learn how the history all this, of the, the NBA. NBA and. And how it developed mm -hmm. uh, to what it is when today. you think about what it is today versus yeah. what it was in 1950, which is yes. when they first the first game um, that he played in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but, that's anyway. what we have for you for this weekend. We have had the most gorgeous week ever <laughs> here. Yesterday it was like 90 degrees. Yes. Today is 75 ish or so. Yes. We're going back down a little bit, but I think we're finally at the start of summer in <gasps> April, which usually I, here is June. I hope you're there too, yes. having a wonderful yeah, day. Yeah, I today. hope you're having yeah. the great weather we are. And, um, We'll talk soon. We'll catch you in the next one. Have Bye. a good day.